Live Stage at Tower Festival 2011, hanging out with Eval. How are we doing, guys? All good. Good. Oh, All they good. got the DeLorean machine out then. Yeah. Did you, you went back there, you really did. Yeah. So, are uh, you guys playing the uh, third stage today? Um, you haven't played Download before, so you're quite excited. Very. Um, it's, it's weird because it's like Download, it's Donington, it's here, you know, yeah. and here we are playing it. Cool. Place of history. Yeah. And they let us spanners play it. Yeah. yeah. So Pretty good. New music, uh, Five Serpents Teeth is coming out. Is it next month? Pretty September. soon. September. Yeah, it's gone back. It's me getting a bit giddy. Yeah, it's just you again going <laughs> back in time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to 1985. <laughs> it's out then. <laughs> um, but yeah, are you throwing in new songs tonight? Yeah, two new tracks today, I think. So see how it goes, see so we can piss people off with them. Yeah. Yeah, wind people up a bit. And uh, writing-wise, then, um, how did this album flow in the studio? Because you know you, you took a big different change in Infected Nations. Is it a continuation from that? I'd say. Well, to me, it seems like uh, albums one and two smashed together, right? And yeah. something completely new has come out. Like it, it's got the, you know, the the, the fun and energy that Na the Grave had. Yeah. Nations well, didn't have that because no. it, it was a bit too technical, and we've kind of softened that side and brought back the fun energy stuff and it just works so much better yeah. it just feels right and you know it, we, everyone's progressed the games a bit and I can sing and yeah. so we've got the vocals are better everything's better There's, it's just actually the proudest yet very proud of this one how did you find it uh, you know recording on the you know, first time recording yeah. on the Evil album cool it's very very easy very straightforward yeah. we put all work in before we went in there so studio were just great we just had a great time doing it and like everything that were coming out it's like yeah that's we're just full of enthusiasm for it you know and it, we had a, like a fun time doing it so I think that's going to show in the I album think that has to, you, know, you can't have like a bad time in this studio because it's just like get creative blocks out of them oh you can <laughs> you can't have a bad chairs time. thrown across rooms <laughs> so uh, yeah did uh, Russ Russell drive you mad in the studio or nope. brilliant constantly yeah. entertaining that yeah. man Constantly, with his white doctor's coat on and his. I did see on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually wore that all the time as well. He didn't put it on for the cameras. He, really? He'd actually walk in and he'd be there in his white smock, you know, doing his bit. I'm quite worried about how close to Back to the Future we are getting here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we did call him the Doc as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Doctor Wilson's got a little badge. And he's <laughs> Department of Noise Buggery. <laughs> That's what it is. Now, are you guys here for the weekend? Are you going to be watching some bands and stuff as well? Uh, us two aren't. No. All and Ben are staying yeah. uh, for the weekend, but we've got to return the van because we're well, cheap, really. <laughs> so we don't have any money. So. We, we have no money, so we've got to take the van back tonight. I was screwed. <laughs> we've seen some bands today, actually, but we just... We just don't have time. I know you're a big fan of your classic rock, like yeah, uh, yeah. so I'm sure like you probably see Twisted or something. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to sneak out from doing press later on and catch Twisted. I'd love to have seen yeah, Mr. Big as well, but <laughs> yeah, we're on at the same time, you know, so it's like... Yeah. But, uh, now the album's going to be out in September, is that going to be followed up with uh, touring as well? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we have no plans. There's nothing on the on the board yet. So, but we, we, we want to, we definitely just want to tour yeah. constantly off it and just play it all. Uh, touring you did was America, wasn't it? Yes, we did a mini one in the UK. It was only like five dates, yeah. just to remind people that we're you know not dead and so on. Uh, how is it for you going through America then? Because it's just it's such a vast country, isn't it? You know, That's the thing on. about it. You just you don't realise how big it is until you're out there driving it. I mean, some of the drives we did were like 12, 15 hours between really? you know shows. Yeah. So we literally finish the gig, pack up, drive, you yeah. know, get there and. And you do great gigs there, and you do terrible ones there. You know, it's so big, you just get a bit of everything. What about fan reactions though? Were they taken to? Because obviously, you know, thrash itself sort of generated from the Bay Area. It went down. Well, yeah, San Francisco was amazing. Such a good show. Same for LA. Was good the second time round. Like the first two times with Creator and Overkill, the first time like earlier in the year, LA just looked at us, just going, don't get it. Went back the other time, and it was amazing. It was forbidden and it was just insanely good. Yeah. It's weird, it's very up and down. Like some of the drives, one of them was 25 hours long from St. Paul, Minnesota down to San Antonio, Texas. Time zones, that's <sighs> That was a killer, that one. But <laughs> it, an RV and it, it was hell. Yeah. We shared with Gamma Bomb, which was fun. Yeah. But the RV itself is a nightmare. Never <laughs> ever tour an RV. Hard, yeah. Very hard. <laughs> with illegal tyres on it, bald things that shake and wobble and almost kill you. And... The toilet that leaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah.